How to stop creating the same undesired reality over and over again. In this video, we're going to talk about your patterns, all of the things that you're creating on a regular basis and why this happens. Now, this video is going to be more along the lines of escaping stagnation. But for those of you that do find yourself to be in a situation that is not necessarily desired, whether you recognize it as a pattern or not, stick around. This video might be helpful. Now, before we jump in, I want to let you guys know that I did create a free resource that you can use to analyze your current patterns and figure out how you can maybe create a strategy to live a more fulfilling life. And again, there's a link below that you can click and get that for yourself. Now, the first thing to consider you guys is that everything in our lives are playing out in patterns. There's a great book by a guy named Vadim Zeeland and it's called Reality Transurfing. It's a little bit of a high level uh, esoteric book when it comes to law of attraction, manifestation, all this kind of stuff. And whether or not you believe in this information, Zeeland has a lot of points that are incredibly beneficial for us to reflect on. And the main concept that I'm thinking of is the concept of pendulums. And according to Zeeland, a, a pendulum is quite simple a situation in which things are playing out in a certain way over and over again. Things like government, things like schooling, you know, social cliques, all of these are pendulums. They have standards, they have, you know, requirements that the people have to play by to exist in this specific pendulum. And pendulums feed off of your energy. You have to play into them for them to exist. Now something on a more macro scale like a society or a government or a academic institution, these are pretty obvious pendulums. You see how people put their energy into these things for them to continue on their cycle, to reach out, get more people and feed off that energy onward and etc. The thing is our personal pendulums operate in the exact same way. So what we put our energy into tends to grow and multiply. So moods, um, activities, um, you know, our physical bodies, our relationships, all of these kinds of things thrive off of our energy and will start to disappear, will start to dwindle as we take our energy out. And so if you consider a situation that you're not very happy with, maybe right now you're finding yourself in a low emotional state on a regular basis. You might think, well, how is my energy that I'm putting into this creating this over and over again? Isn't this a lack of energy? In some ways, yes. But you have to analyze what kinds of things are you doing on a regular basis or perhaps not doing on a regular basis that are contributing to this. Physically, yes, the actions that you go out and take, the people that you choose to engage with. Maybe you have specific habits that are not necessarily contributing to the best version of yourself. These things can be pretty obvious and usually just require us to be honest. But the truth is that thoughts and feelings contribute to these undesirable situations really more than anything else. And so what we really have to be diligent about doing is asking ourselves what kind of mental conversation is going on on a regular basis. Now, once we can start to be honest about the mental conversation that's going on on a regular basis, then we can start to make some real progress. We can follow my three-step process, which is number one, take action. In this case, it's whatever you're doing right now, that's the action. Number two is reflect on that action. What about that action is not necessarily aligned with the highest version of myself? And this is where it helps to really understand where you're trying to go, You know what kinds of goals you're trying to create in the big six categories of life. And if you want some help with this, I do have a link below that you can sign up for a free consultation with me and we can talk about all this stuff. But the bottom line here is that if you know where you're trying to go, you can look back at the actions that you're taking, the thoughts, the feelings that are manifesting on a regular basis, and you can start to analyze those things and ask yourself, what about this current reality, what about this current application of my thoughts, feelings, and actions is not aligned with the highest version of myself? Now, once you take time to do this, you can optimize on these things and start to create a trajectory that is more in line with this more aligned version. Now there are three main strategies to doing that and I'll tell you about what those strategies are. Now this goes a lot deeper and there are a lot more strategies for doing this but these are strategies that I learned from a guy by the name of Joseph Rodriguez. Excellent channel here on YouTube, I'll plug him below. I plug him on my Instagram all the time and you can follow me on Instagram somewhere up here but they are powerful and nonetheless I decided to share them with you. So the first one is changing your environment. This is my least favorite one quite simply because wherever you go there you are, right? So wherever you decide to change your environment to, you're taking yourself with you. 
And so we might think that, you know, this specific relationship or this specific situation in my life is not contributing to the best version of myself. Maybe you have a very rough relationship with a roommate. Maybe your relationship with your spouse is not so good. Maybe, you know, your work environment is not one that really you find to be conducive to the best version of you, your best life. All of these things can be changed by shifting up your environment. So literally moving somewhere, taking a short vacation, maybe just renting an Airbnb and going somewhere for a couple weeks. All of these things can shake up your environment and allow you to find a little bit more peace by using force or manipulation. And you might be thinking, well, Zach, how is that force and manipulation? Well, I define force and manipulation as literally anything that is going out and doing things actively in the external world versus going within, changing yourself within, and then watching as the external world shifts to match your changed inner state. I'd say changing your environment is really the worst case scenario or or the last thing that you should result to if you are looking to create these kinds of changes. But nonetheless, it can be very powerful to change your environment, go somewhere else, and then take action from this place of external shift. Now the second one, and this might be my favorite, I haven't decided yet just because I've been experimenting with this one more and more as time has gone on. You you guys will see as my videos start to change to become a little bit more, uh, you know, anti law of attraction community and you know talking to you guys more about the depths of eastern spirituality and and really the best way to change your life Um, but this one's acceptance (laughs) and i know that was a huge lead up but it sounds pretty simple but yet very few people actually leverage this concept and it is quite simply accept how everything is completely release the resistance from everything and just say it's okay it's okay the way it is and and i accept that and i'm fine with that and um, i'm not necessarily accepting it in the way that i'm surrendering to it right i'm i'm just going to keep going along with the way things are but what i am doing is saying hey life happens and sometimes it's too much of a burden to try to control everything to try and you know intend on every single little detail and so what i'm going to do is kind of release that control i'm just going to let go i'm just going to be okay with where i am and i know that the power of intention allows me to simply you know, look in a different direction and allow that to flow to me but by resisting everything I'm causing more blockage than really is necessary and sometimes that resistance and sometimes that resistance is kind of putting a damper on the universe and you know the universe is operating in ways that you can't always understand and sometimes things are a little bit out of your control and so rather than trying to be manipulative you know act from this place of force you know trying to control every single detail to the point where you get stressed out and worn out accept it you know accept that it's not always going to be perfect and sometimes it's going to be pretty damn shitty but it's better to just release that resistance and find that state of flow even in chaos and that will build up skills that are going to benefit you more than i can even state in this video long term but like i said it's an extremely challenging concept for a lot of people and not one that you know a quick youtube video can can really cover i might do a longer form youtube video maybe a stream just to kind of bounce back and forth with you guys in the future but this is one that i'm starting to really enjoy more and more and i'm starting to value more and more Um, and it can be very, very powerful. And so practice acceptance. Finally, the strategy that I use more than anything to create the reality that I really enjoy that really fulfills me is changing the mental conversation. So this is something that I talk to my, you know, clients about on a a very regular basis because it's, it's the key, right? It really is the key for creating the reality that you desire with all of these things, you know, changing your environment, um, you know, accepting reality if you're not in the best place. The mental conversation is what is actually going to help you reach the next level. So after you've accepted the situation, after you have released your resistance, after you have found your wonderful little shack on the mountainside, changing your mental conversation to be in line with what it is that you're trying to create is the key. With any kind of manifestation, all of these, you know, practices in journaling, visualization, affirmation, all of this stuff, whatever it is that you use, Ultimately, what you're doing is trying to wire your subconscious mind with a new intention and, and you know, really hardline that intention is not only something that I'm looking toward, but something that I am sure that I will achieve, you know, a reality that I'm sure I will exist in at some point. Now, throughout the journey from intention to creation, the mental conversation, you know, what happens within your mind, all of your empowering beliefs versus your disempowering beliefs, this is what is really going to determine if you get there 
or you don't get there. Characteristics of disempowering beliefs tend to be, you know, self-chastising, um, lack of self-belief, um, constantly finding all of the pessimistic reasons why something can't become. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, an empowered state of mind is an optimistic state of mind, one that realizes that while there are challenges, there are opportunities in every challenge. And this mindset is constantly finding the reasons why something can be, constantly finding the synchronicities and constantly finding this high energy that is saying, wow, here we are on this journey, moving closer and closer to what it is that we want to create. Now, all of this stuff requires practice, you guys. There's really no secret other than going out and trying it. So what I did was create basically a free workbook that you guys can go through to kind of ask yourself, you know, am I in this state of empowerment or am I in a state of disempowerment? Go through this workbook. It'll give you strategies that you can use to improve your state of being and hopefully get you just that much closer to your true state of being as a powerful conscious creator. So I hope this video was helpful, you guys. If you liked the video, smash that like button, share it with all your homies, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell so you know my videos come out. But until next time, much love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Shh.